Good morning. It's actually afternoon here and it's Tuesday, which means it's time for another tutorial. And after last week's one in which we looked at adding liquidity on Uniswap, this week we're taking a step into the weird and wonderful world of Fura Combo. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to pronounce it, but it's Fura Combo. And essentially what this is, is a drag and drop system for taking all those annoying sequence of steps that you normally have to go through in order to perform kind of money Lego operations on DeFi, it kind of turns it into a fun little game where all those operations are turned into cubes. You move the cubes around, you say what you want to do. Ah, you know what, let's just get into it because once you see it, you're like, oh, why? Why can't everything be like that? Sponsors message. If you want to know who's sponsoring our videos, well, it's Balancer. And they're up to some pretty funky stuff to help ease the pain of high gas costs on Ethereum. Trade as much as you like and recoup most of the gas costs damn straight. And in their new Bull for Gas campaign, traders are receiving six figures worth of Bull tokens every week. And with version two just around the corner, Balancer is becoming a one-stop shop for DeFi liquidity. Version two brings with it stable pools and weighted pools tightly integrated under a single protocol with flash loans, lending via asset managers, and much more. Check it out at balancer.finance. Now, back to the tutorial. So if you spend any time kind of playing around with DeFi, you will have come across this feeling of just being baffled or annoyed by some of the steps in the process. And that's because, you know, a lot of the times you have to do one step and then another step and then another step and then another step and then another step. And by the time you get through all of that, like an hour and a half's pass and you've spent $500 and the whole thing is super annoying. So you just think to yourself, wouldn't it be great if I could just take this piece, this piece, bundle them together, turn them into a combo, and then just use that as my transaction. That is essentially what Fura Combo is doing. It's taking all of those actions, bundling them together into one transaction, and then charging you for that transaction, and then that's it, and you're done. I know it sounds too good to be true, and in some cases it isn't quite as simple as that, but it's one of those tools that, I guess it's kind of like WordPress in a weird way. WordPress made it super easy to publish yourself on a website. The content management system, system is is a good analogy actually because there's a bunch of code being written under the hood that you don't see and you don't need to see but imagine how simple the uniswap interface is but for every step in your DeFi journey that's kind of what this is and what i like about it is there's kind of a menu of different items a bit like you know dim sum essentially that you can combine together and as you become more familiar with the different things that you're looking at in DeFi, let's say you, you, you've gotten really familiar with lending and borrowing on Compound and you're really comfortable with that, you know exactly what these different cubes mean, but there's more simple things. It, it marries to your particular DeFi journey. Now, Fura Combo. Fura Combo app is the website you're going to want to go to. And right down at the bottom, we see triple star. Fura Combo is beta software, and it should be treated as highly unstable. Use at your own risk. So I'm going to say this right up front. This is unstable, beta, yes. Uh, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff going on under the hood here, but who knows? So uh, I think the best thing to do here is play around with it. And once you get familiar with it, once you're comfortable with it, try something simple. Don't go for the really crazy, really, really crazy stuff. But if we look at how Fuel Crumble works, it's a tool built for end users to optimize their DeFi strategy simply by drag and drop. It visualizes complex DeFi protocols into cubes. Users set inputs and outputs in the order of cubes, a combo. Then Fura Combo bundles all the cubes into one transaction and sends it out. And if you don't know what to do, you can find inspirations from pre-built combos at the Explore page. This kind of reminds me of like modular synthesizers in music. You've got all these different things that you can plug one into the other one to the other and get a different output. It's kind of like that. It's essentially a really simple uh, money Lego-like way of looking at things. So that's kind of all we, all we want to know here. What I was going to do for this tutorial was a flash loan. And the reason for that was because flash loans feel like science fiction in a way. They feel like a thing that is only for the most hardcore developers. But with something like Fura Combo, they're not. Because there's actually a flash loan cube on Fura Combo. And they actually give you a pretty good tutorial on the site 
how to do this. So written tutorial, and I was going to go through that and see if I could make it work. Um, flash lens really are, there's a lot of different uses for them, but primarily if you're looking at arbitrage opportunities and you see the difference between two exchanges and you want to quickly exploit that, then that's a great use of a flash loan. Problem is, you need to know where those opportunities are. Otherwise, there's not really much point using the flash loan. Only problem is, I went to the Fury Combo website today and it says, Ava cubes and flash loans are temporarily down as we are undergoing a thorough testing. So the other uh, flash loan cube is the one that I would have used here and unfortunately it's not available. That doesn't mean though that this is not a valid uh, subject for a tutorial today because it really, really is. I think it's just one of those tools that you're going to come back to again and again and again as you start to understand how powerful it actually is. So why don't we just get in and have a look? I would also recommend having open their uh, documents documentation page, docs.furacombo.app, because here there's a whole bunch of information and particularly different combos that you can use. And this is where I found the what is a flash loan combo. And it's really nicely broken down, really simple to understand. All the steps are very, very straightforward. And I think in a future tutorial, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I was actually looking for a combo that was like 10, 15 steps long. That's a little excessive, but you can get really creative with these things. And if you know exactly what your steps are, you could build some really wild and freaky combos to do some really wild and freaky things. And maybe we'll do that in a future tutorial. But for now, let's just go ahead and click on start. So here you'll just be confronted with this white cube and not much else. I've already connected my wallet, by the way. Uh, which is something you're going to want to do. But you don't have to connect a wallet in order to explore w the cubes and what they can do. So if I just click on this plus button right here, it's going to bring up this DeFi menu. And here, it will give you a bunch of functionality, a bunch of functions, I should say, for different platforms that you can then plug in as a cube. So for instance, we might want to swap a token or add liquidity or remove liquidity on Uniswap V2. One of the interesting ones I was looking at, which was on the documentation site, was for Compound. And yeah, so the C token swap combo. So it allows you to change one C token for another C token, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so you can withdraw and swap the original C token, then supply the new token to Compound. And that's something that I think a lot of people want to do is maneuver their, their loan, their collateralized position around and try and optimize how much they're paying back or what the yield could be. All of these kind of things, they're quite complicated and unwinding a position in DeFi can be a pain in the ass. Uh, all of this makes that easy. So what do we have here? We have synthetics, we have Uniswap, we have Curve, we have Compound, Maker, Yearn, One Inch, KyberSwap, Balancer, Mooniswap, Uniswap V1, and then there's a bunch of other utility here, like Gas Saver or Claiming Uni, but it's a bunch of cool things. So if we look at this, it can be a little kind of daunting, but let's just start something. So let's start, say, for instance, we want to swap a token and we want to swap ETH for, let's say, Die. And I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> I heard, it. I could feel it coming. I didn't want to do that on camera, but now I look like an idiot. Don't make that into a GIF, anyone, will you? So now I've sold my ETH for die. What else can I do? Let's have a look. Uh, we could go to a Yearn Vault and deposit in there. And it's showing USDC, but if we click on the drop down menu, I can select die. I can set max. It's going to take that die that I generated, turn it into YV die and deposit it in that vault. Okay, cool. Now, what could I do next? Ooh, let's see. Uh, I don't know. We could, we could make a cake with it. But you kind of get the idea. The thing is, I hadn't really got a set plan of what I wanted to do here or what I actually wanted to, to, to switch from one thing to another. I'm just showing you some of the cubes and how they can be chained one after the other. Really what we want to do here is make our lives a bit more simple. So we're going to go to the Explore tab up here. I'm just going to go ahead and bin that one and bin that one. It's super easy. Oh, by the way, let me just add, let me just add, um, let me just add some more cubes. 
I'm just going to say ETH to BAT 0.1. Just show you how super simple this is. Set that. And then set another one, which would be, oh, I'm just going to swap it back. Just for the sake of this example. And yeah, set the max. And OK. So these cubes, you can move them around like this. That's how simple it is. When they say drag and drop, it really is drag and drop. Uh, if you want to delete the cube, click on that. And then there's a button up here to delete all of them. But I can't seem to access that at the moment. So we're just going to delete that. So in order to find kind of combos that might be more used to you, you go to the Explore tab up here. And it will spit out a bunch of, I guess you would call them recipes for different things that you can do. So what's also useful about this is it will give you like the APY for the particular thing that you want to do, if that's what you're into. So we could, uh, we could type in balancer here and it will give us all the options for balancer pools and balancer combos. There's only five here, but still pretty good. And then if you clicked on this one, for instance, it will tell you exactly how the combo works and it will tell you what the combo is doing. So use this combo to come with a liquidity provider on balancer to earn fees and the BAL token. This combo will convert your ETH to BAL and wrap your ETH to WETH as balancer only accepts WETH and then it will deposit both ETH and BAL to the pool on balancer. You will receive balancer pool tokens representing your share of the pool and start earning fees from trades as well as BAL tokens as incentives to liquidity providers. So that might be what you're into. Let's say, for instance, remember last week we did uh, some liquidity provision on Uniswap. So if we typed in Uniswap, there should be a bunch of these. Oh, yeah. There's seven different Uniswap actions that we can use here. And if I look here, okay, so adding liquidity to the ETH USDC pool looks pretty good. 39.37% APY. Click on that. And now we can click on go. And that's going to set up the cubes for us. So now we have our, our pathway. It's only two cubes, pretty, pretty straightforward. And it's telling us we're going to swap ETH to USDC. And then it's going to split that into USDC and ETH to add liquidity and that will spit out our LP tokens. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. It's so easy this. I was like this is doing all the things I wanted to do. If I wanted to change this, edit this, uh, this here and make it only 0.1 and I did that, then everything ripples through and should, oh, if I type in dot one, now I click on set. This now ripples through to the next cube. If I want to change it back, um, 2.5, and then set that. Again, it ripples all the way through. So it's kind of like a procedural effect. One thing is contingent on the next thing is contingent on the next thing, which is super easy. And now if I click on send, Metamask pops up. It's going to ask me to confirm this. Oh, gas fee, $342. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to do that because I made a promise that I wasn't going to unnecessarily pay for tutorials. But the point is, that's how easy it is to add liquidity. And as we've already covered in a, in a previous tutorial, performing DeFi activities on Ethereum is really, at the moment, still only worth it if you're putting in, you know, 20 to 30K at least at this stage. Obviously, as we also covered, um, a lot of these activities are much cheaper on BSC or on Terra. So definitely worth looking into that. What I'm hoping is that we're going to see Fura Combo and things like it appear on those alt DeFi chains as well. But the point is, if it can be done here and it can be done visually like this and it can be done with these recipes, then it ought to be possible on other chains. And who knows what Fura Combo's code is like? It's probably open source. And if it's open source, that means it can be forked. So I would expect that to happen. I'm not paying 342 gas, $342 for gas today. Sorry, everyone. 
I know you want to see me suffer, but not today. So I'm going to reject that because I've paid enough already. But that really is as simple as it is. And I know this wasn't much of a tutorial. It's more of a, a look at Fura Combo. But there are all sorts of fun and funky things here that you can do. And if you're more of a power user and you've been fed up with different um, actions that you've been having to perform, or even just go through the recipes here and see what might be possible. Because with this, with money Legos, kind of anything really is possible. You just have to figure out how to do it, how to plug one thing into another. And you never know, you might find a recipe on here that does exactly what you need it to do. And it might end up being a lot cheaper than you would have expected. But Yes, that is Fura Combo for now. I'm really looking forward to seeing this thing develop. What I noticed was that they now have their own token. It's a governance token. Uh, you can find more details about it on their documentation. And uh, I guess as Uniswap version 3 comes out, all of these things will become more relevant, more functionality will come out. But yeah, in general, I'm a big fan of Fura Combo. But of course, it's a beta. Use it at your own risk. And let's see if we can find something like that on other chains where it is a bit cheaper to experiment and play around. But yeah, cool stuff. That was today's tutorial. 